Uh, oh, recording in progress. Oh shit. Okay. Hey y'all. Uh, um. Shit. I'm like so beyond exhausted and sleep that I said I was gonna get up. A BTW sidebar. I'm gonna let y'all know. This seriously will be the last time y'all see my hair like this. Like, cause at this point I can't take it anymore. I can actually run my fingers through my hair if I wanted to. Like, it's just like, it's just that much hair on my head. So, this is the last time y'all gonna see my hair like this before I go to the barber shop and get it tapered up. Cool. I might just like fall asleep in the barber chair. That's how long it's been since I had a haircut. And say, welcome back to Perry. Y'all haven't seen y'all haven't seen Perry in a while, but I decided to bring him back today for Trayvon Tuesday. Oh, and before I go any further, let me make sure I do. My shout out, cause I told her I would give her a shout out. And I don't want to forget and get cussed out. Um, Alana Hayes just added me on Facebook, and um, shout out to Alana Hayes. Shout out to be so techy to me sometimes. Like, what do you say when you give a shout out? Like, yo, 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 shout out to Alana Hayes. Yo, something like that. Like, I'm not too good with those, but that's beyond the point. We're here for Trayvon Tuesday, so um. The last Trayvon Tuesday I did was like two Tuesdays ago because I was busy the last Tuesday. I had finals that week. And I've been really like feeling bad. But I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to make it back to every Tuesday. Not Thursday because Thursday I want to be another day. But here we go. So um, I got the stuff right here. What was the last, the most, can we arrange these in order from latest possible past 24 hours, past week, no, past week, let's see, okay, so, okay, George Zimmerman, you know, the guy who was accused of killing Trayvon, is now changing his story about what happened with the whole, why he killed Trayvon, he is now saying that Trayvon circled his car three times, before he actually got out and, you know, pursued him. So he's saying he was being, he was being intimidated, quote unquote, by Trayvon. And that's one of the reasons why he got out and pursued him, because he thought he was a suspicious character. To that effect, I think that's bullshit, if you ask me. Because, first of all, you're in a car. So, if you sit in a car, do you do on my neighborhood watch, quote unquote, and somebody circled your car three times. First of all, the last thing I'm about to do is get out the car and mess with this fool. Because if you circle a car three times, apparently you off your rocker. Because the car looks the same after the first go around. And if anything, I would have stayed in the car and locked the doors. If you thought he was suspicious and crazy, why wouldn't you just like stay in the car and lock it up? And put, put it in, you know... Park, not park, but drive just in case you had to hit it down the street or something. So I just think that's a fraudulent story. He was bored and came up with that one. Um, oh, his MySpace page. I didn't tell y'all about that. I know I didn't tell y'all about that because I have like last week. They found his MySpace page, right? And it's all these like racial comments and stuff on it. Let me see if I can pull them up. Talking about black people and Mexicans. And at a certain point in my life, I thought Zimmerman was Mexican. Because he looked like, like, in the first picture that I released from him, like, when this first started, he was like he was Mexican. Or at least I thought he was. But, um, let me see if I can find exactly what he said. He was talking about Mexicans. Here we go. Um, I don't miss driving around scared to hit Mexicans walking on the side of the street. Soft blank. I'm not sure. If it's explicit. 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 Want to be thugs, messing with people's cars when they ain't around. What are you proving that you can dent a car when no one's watching? Don't make you, don't make you a man in my book. That's me wrong his page. Oh wait, there's more. Working 96 hours to get a decent paycheck, getting knives pulled on you by every Mexican you run into. Jesus Christ. Um, is there more? No, that's not more. Okay, so that's what he said on his MySpace page. I thought he said something about black people, too. You think you can always be the right stuff? Every time I go to court, I win. I bet it. 
Okay, I don't know who the hell that is, but um, so yeah, that's who he put on his MySpace page. Apparently, it was an old MySpace post. But if there, if the prosecutor is any type of intelligent, they would take those little statements, those racial statements, and use them bitches to their advantage and say, look, this fool is racist. Clearly, he was talking about these Mexicans cutting grass and pulling knives and didn't cars. And I believe he said something about black people too, but I couldn't, I couldn't find it. Only to break, only to begin, begin again. I don't know what that means. Um, but I believe he said something about black people. I just don't, I can't find it. But he did. I know it. So, the prosecutors can use that. Like, seriously, I was a law major for one semester before I got bored and it was over it. You can use stuff like this, like anything that's on social media, because you can't erase this shit. Like, if I wanted to, I couldn't erase my, I could erase my YouTube, but somewhere in cyberspace, one of these videos will pop back up. So you can't really erase this shit for good. So, they should use it against him, but the, the prosecution might be, like, on marijuana or something. You didn't hear from me, though. Um, and what's this I was hearing as of lately? Um, and what's this website that he's that he has? Apparently, he has a website where he's raising money for something. Like, it's a fucking, like, he's a fucking Girl Scout or something. Like, he's raising money for legal funds, but they had enough money to bail his ass out for that bond, that $15,000 that he was supposed to be, that he used to get out. I ain't talking about that. $15,000 was his bond. He paid that shit and went right back into hiding in somebody's caboose because he knew that the black people was after him. The blacks, white, Mexicans, everybody was after his ass. A lawyer for Zimmerman said some of the money raised by a defense fund website is paying for Zimmerman's security and living expenses. Oh, so we're paying, well, not we're, because I ain't, I ain't any enough for shit. But some people are paying for this man to live. They paying for his security. He walking around like he's somebody famous with big, bulky security people. And I bet you it's big, bulky black security people. But he's racist. And he went back into hiding immediately after they let him out of jail. And rightfully so. Zimmerman told police Martin circled his SUV. We talked about that already. So yeah, that's basically the most of what has went down in the past week in Trayvon Tuesday scoop and things of that nature. It's cold as fuck up here. I can't wait to go back and get in my bed. Okay, I'm out of here. Um, I gotta go finish cleaning my room. It's almost done, thank God. Oh, they took Darius this morning, y'all. I almost had a moment. They took him this morning. Why do you have to go? But I got $200 for it. Woo woo. So, um, <laughs> I had my moment last night, but. Alright, I'm out of here. Um, that's it. See y'all. Peace. But you really think you're gonna get my rocks off?